Hey everybody, what is going on? My name is Liz and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, we are gonna go thrifting. I haven't done a thrifting video in quite some time. I've just been doing so many things around the house and also preparing for the holidays. And so today was a really good day to go thrifting. It is Friday, I'm supposed to post this tomorrow. So I'm putting a lot of expectation that I'm gonna hit the thrift stores and find some good things on the shelves. Luckily for me, that I have several within my area, so I'm going to hit up all of my local Goodwills and see what we can find. All right, you guys, so let's get going. Okay, everybody, I am back from the Goodwill and welcome to winter time and it being dark at 3 p.m. So I had to break out, had to <laughs> break out one of my ring lights and I'm not happy with the lighting, but whatever, we're gonna keep rolling with it. I wanna show you guys what I picked up. I went to four different stores. One of them was a complete just waste of time. They had literally nothing. Um, but I did happen to find a lots of super cool finds today and I'm excited to show you guys. I scored this really nice ceramic vase. Um, I think it's terracotta. Got my receipt inside. Super cool. I just love the really neutral tone of the color of this and it obviously goes really well with everything that I have throughout my home. Um, it's just a really simple, clean, minimalistic vase. Um, so yeah, so this was a really nice find in the first store. <laughs> I found these two wooden bowls. I thought that they were really unique. They are, they look old and beat up and they're not meant to be, I'm not going to use these for serving purposes. I'm going to use these for decorating purposes, but these are made in Japan and I just love mixing these in with a lot of my white vessels and decor. So. They look really pretty on a coffee table, just on top of some books, and I just love pairing them just like that. I think that this is just really, really beautiful. Just right next to those bowls was this bowl here. Now, I'm not assuming that this is vintage by any means, but I just love the shape of it. I think you guys can agree, it just has a really cool shape, and I love that crackle um, pattern that is going on with the paints. This is sort of like a very dark sagey green color and it's a really nice size. Here's the wood bowl compared to this bowl. So I happened to just find this all in one store and I couldn't have been happier. 
Okay, so the next store, I didn't find too much, but I did find this really cool vase. This was from the Goodwill, um, and I'm still trying to figure it out. This was $4.99, another receipt. What I'm thinking that this is, this is probably the cover of a light, kind of like one of those um, pendant lights, only because this is glass on the bottom. Nonetheless, I don't plan on using it as a vase. And if I did, I can put dried florals in here. But I just love, can you guys see, just kind of like, eh. there, I'll put it here, there we go. But I just love the shape, I love the size, and I love all the texture. For five bucks, that was definitely a really cool find for me. In this bag here. I thought I almost broke these in my car. One flew right out. But these are these are super old onyx here. Let me get this bag out of the frame. These are super old onyx candle holders. And I paid $3.99 each. There is the original old label marked onyx right on the bottom there. And they are like this really light green color um, mixed in with some brown. So it just has a really nice, just a really nice look. And overlooking them, I may have chipped a little bit. I don't know. There's like a tiny, tiny chip there, but that's okay. I think these are super cool. Even though that they are sort of like this yellowy green, they still have this neutral tone to them that I'm okay with, which is why I bought them. Aside from the fact that they are genuine onyx, um, I just really just thought that they had a cool shape, they have a cool pattern. Um, definitely you don't come by these often. And if I were to find these in, in like, let's say a high-end vintage shop, kind of like the one that I personally own or at an antique shop, these would easily run about $150 to $175. So this was a good find for $3.99 a piece. Okay. So the next shop I went to was not a Goodwill. This was a thrift shop in my local area. And I'm gonna start with this one first. I don't really buy too much glassware. I found this really cool tray um, I plan on using it like a catch-all and just look at the look at the pattern. It's just so cool. The shape is so cool. And I paid one dollar. Can you guys see that? This is such a cute little trinket dish. It can go anywhere. It can go in your bathroom, it can go on your vanity, on your dresser, it can go on your coffee table. These little guys, the cooler they are, they just really stand out on a table. So I'm always looking for little unique catch-alls. Um, and for a dollar, this one was definitely a great buy. Again, I don't buy a lot of glass, but this was just so cool. I could not resist getting this. Look at the shape of this bowl. How cool is that? This was $5. Can you guys see that? It was $5 and I believe it's I believe it's crystal. <laughs> there is no maker's mark on here that I can find. I'm sure if there was a maker's mark, it probably would be a lot more expensive. But this shape is just so, so cool. I might even plan on using this for Christmas and putting it on one of the tables, just putting like maybe some candy or just some little treats in here. Um, yeah, so these are always really nice to break out during the holidays when you're feeling a little bit more festive and you are adding more dishes and bowls to your table than necessary. So um, I normally don't put dishes and bowls out in my home, but during the holidays when we have people coming over, I do break out some really pretty bowls. So this is all of the decor stuff that I was able to score today. And now this is a bit unusual. Um, I normally don't find this many books, but I had to show you guys because guys, you know, books are very expensive. Even on Amazon, a really cool coffee table book can run you $40 all the way up to $200, depending on the designer of the book. And when I go to the Goodwill, I rarely ever find any cool books. And this one caught my eye. Look at this book. How aesthetic is this book? Then I started opening it. 
you guys see that? It's just an, it's an art book on Tony Metalli's just artwork. His work is featured at the Davis, um, the Davis Museum at the Wesley Museum. And yeah, so I found this book and I just fell in love with the cover first and then I opened it up and I was just even more surprised and the book was $1. $1, there's just a little bit of dirt in the back, but who cares? We are going to really style this book and make it look so nice on my coffee table. Then, um, I found some books for my daughter. I normally wouldn't pick these two up, but I wanted to show you that my daughter is into um, a lot of old classics and she loves old classic movies. So I found her a book on Emily Dickinson. This is a huge, huge book. So I texted my daughter and she was like, oh my gosh, yes, get that for me. And so I put it in my cart. Then I found this one, look how aesthetic, looking dapper, Mr. Cary Grant. Um, and I love that even with these old books, like if you're not crazy about the cover, look at this nice old white book. Come on guys. This is how you wanna style your books. Like if you can find them white, oh, so good. And by the way, these are gold. I don't know if you can see it in the lighting, but, and then it's his signature right in the center. I'm trying to, there you guys. All right, you won't be able to see it. <laughs> but anyway, so we're gonna put the cover back on just to keep it safe. So she was flipping out when I showed her I found these. Now, just as I was leaving, I decided to look through the books one more time and I found two more books and I was so excited. This one is a design book. I think this was like $2. So this is a design book, you guys can see. It's just so cool, guys. I was so excited to find it. Um, I love anything design, photography, um, especially vintage ones. And this is from 1996 and it's just called Graphic Design. And I only paid a couple of bucks for it. And so the last book I got, I was really floored to find this one. It's huge. It's called The Art Book. Look how thick this is. Let me see if I can open it up for you guys. I never checked to see what color the cover was. Huh? It's black. Yes. So this one is mine. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this off. All right. So here's what the book looks like. And I will show you some of the pages. So let's. Look at that. Guys. This is like art from museums all over the world. Incredible. $2, guys, I got this huge book for $2. Those were my finds for today. I'm pretty happy. I have so much stuff, guys. I honestly didn't really need to buy anything, but I decided to take you guys out with me. It's been a little bit since I've been thrifting, and I am so excited about these books more so than anything else here. Um, I'm going to style these bowls. I think these bowls are super cool. I'm excited for my crystal bowl here. I'm excited to style that for the, for my Christmas table. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. I post a lot of these vintage and thrift hauls, DIY and home styling. So if that is your sort of content you like to binge watch, then I invite you to subscribe to this channel. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this week and I'll see you in my next video soon.